Hi friends, this is Karen. I am here today to show you a fun way to use uh, some art that you've already completed in your Bible, or in this case I'm showing you some of my art from this hymn journal, and um, how to put that into a digital format, and then print out copies and use them to make cards. So here I have taken, like I said, some pages from the When From Death I'm Free hymn journal, and I've just cut them out of the book, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them into a digital JPEG file. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. I do happen to have at home a scanner, and so I just scanned these pages, this one, and this one, and then this other piece of art that I also finished, not from the book, but um, what I did is I scanned them and turned them into a JPEG file, and I'm going to show you how to do that, um, or what to do with them once you have them as a JPEG file, and then we're going to print them out and use them to make some fun little cards. Once you have the files as a JPEG, there's a couple of different things that you could do. You could simply print them out uh, like the same way you would print out a photo. Or what I like to do is drop them into a Word document and then I can really control the size of them and simply print them out at home. Again, if you don't have that capability, you could send them off to the printers like as a, a photograph, so you can choose your size of photograph, or you can send them off um, to get them printed at your local copy store as well, as long as they're a JPEG file, or even if you saved them as a PDF file or something like that, it would still work. So what I want to show you today is how to drop them into a Word file. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I am in Word, and... I'm first going to just go ahead and change my layout options. I want to make sure I have really skinny margins. And I'm going to set it at landscape so I can fit everything in there. So let's view one whole page. And I've already gone ahead and scanned my uh, pages of art and I saved them as JPEG files or um, Oops, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. I'm going to insert a picture or a photo, which really is all the JPEG extension is. It just saves it as a photo. And I have three pieces of art that I want to fit on this page. The Psalm 91, this dust, and we will rise. So I've highlighted those, press insert, and they're going to be dropped in, but they are going to be the wrong size. Here they come. And I want to get them all on one page, so I'm going to make them much smaller. In fact, over here off to the right, you can see that I'm just going to, head, going to go ahead and change my sizes. I'm going to make them 4.5. So they'll fit on a small card. And I'm gonna make this one, I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Let's make him, oh, let's see, 5.5. Oh, I could probably go a little bit small, bigger with that one too. This is the thing I like to do or use this in Word because you can arrange them on your page anywhere that you want. Um, notice I am changing the wrap text function to tight and that allows me to move them on the page very easily. Otherwise they want to line up and they won't go exactly where you want them to. Which is why this one's not popping up. So let's get him also tight and then I'll be able to move that one up. And to get them all on the page, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one around. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Oh, goodness, if I can. Oh, cooperate with me. Okay. 
There, I'll straighten him out now. All right, so this is how I am going to print them out. So I don't even have to save this file because I can go ahead, I mean, unless I know I want to print it out multiple times, or if I don't have a home printer and I want to send it off to print, I can save this as a PDF document and then go ahead and send it to um, a printer store. So I'm just going to go ahead then and we're going to print this. All right, so once I dropped them into the Word file, I just hit the print, and this is what I came up with. So I've got all three of my files here, and I can use a trimmer to go ahead and trim them. And I've already done that for us, so I'm going to set these aside, and I'm going to use them for another project. And here we've got some options to see how we're going to turn these into cards. So this first one, when I cut it, I left a little bit of a white border so that um, it will stand out really nice against this dark cardstock, which I um, cut and sized. And what I'm going to do, just to add a little bit of bling, is I'm going to add a little bit of gold washi tape to the bottom. If I can, this kind of tape has a little bit of a edge. So maybe I will be adding it. Here we go. Well, you didn't know you were going to spend all this time watching me try to get the backing off. There it is. Alright, I'm just going to put it on the bottom of this cardstock. I'm going to put two layers. And then just trim that off. Isn't that nice and shiny? All right. Then I'm going to simply add some adhesive to the back. Again, this is just what I printed out at home. And set that on. And I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom to make it even. And there's my first card. can send that out to a friend. Again, this little bit came originally from this size. So, neat. Then I have these two little guys that I printed out. I mean, isn't that cute? There's so many different possibilities that you could use these for. You can make them into magnets just by putting some adhesive back magnet on the back. That would be really nice. Or you can do like what I'm doing here, adding it to a card. Right now, I think it's just awesome if you can send out some cards to friends. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit of washi here. And then, I'm going to put that right there. This is just double sided tape. Use it for scrapbooking and that sort of thing. Oh, that's cute. Get that cute little card that will really brighten someone's day. I like it. All right, then we have the last card, and um, I just grabbed pieces of paper out of my stash, some colors that went along with the colors in um, the printed out sheet, and I'm just going to stack them up. You can be really creative with this or you can keep things pretty basic like this and really I'm just pulling colors that are already there it's a good way to use up some of your scrap stash different colors of cardstock you could even use 
patterns and that sort of thing. Oh, that really makes it stand out nice. Good thing about Handmaid's Cards is you can really just do exactly what you want. You can write a note exactly as you want it. If it needs to be trimmed a little bit, you can trim it. Fantastic. So, here we go. I've taken three pieces of art that I spent a lot of time on in their originals. And now I can share them as many times as I want with friends and family far away. And what a joy it will bring if somebody goes to their mailbox and they get a handwritten card saying, hey, how are you? But even more than that, hey, God cares about you. He has promises for you that you can cling to. One of my favorite songs, written is the story, empty is the grave. And we will rise up from these ashes. So I hope you enjoyed. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.